Hey guys, Joel Sanford sent me some tires. Pitbull Rock Beast. Now these are the 1.9 and the Comp Compound. Now, looking at these tires, they look good, they feel good. I haven't opened them up yet. I mean, obviously, the Bronco. You guys saw this in the competition with the other two class ones that I've got, and it got its butt stomped really bad, mainly because of, you know, bumpers at both ends and some of the belly clearance. So it needs a little help in the tire department, and I think these are going to be a perfect fit. Take a look. The wheels I'm using are the same old cheap wheels. You get these for about $28 off of eBay, shipped. They take a little while to get to you, but you know, I have yet to break one. Now the tires themselves, the compound feels good. It feels like it's sticky, it feels compliant. The foams feel like they'll even work. Let me see, it actually has a two-stage foam in them. How about that? I did not know that. I don't know that it makes a difference though. I mean, I guess it's got a little memory on the outside and then a uh, regular open cell on the inside. So I guess it's a two-stage of some sorts. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these mounted up, show you guys that, and then get the truck outside. So it's been about a week since I started mounting these wheels and tires. These foams, when they're all square, I had to cut these like this to try to keep the foam out of the beadlock area but it's almost like the center of the tire is just a little bit too large. And I'm sure this is just a compatibility issue between the tire and the wheel. I mean, the wheels are $28 on eBay, you know, I, but I've used them for a bunch of different brand tires. And they usually work really good, but not this time. I even put them together really loose with long bolts and had to piece in like you see there, right here, had that in there. Uh, stuck them in the freezer, hoping the uh, rubber would contract just a little bit, but uh, that, that didn't work. I mean, I tried that every days, you know, tightening them a little bit, a little bit, did not work. The way I've got to do these things, uh, the, way, the way I've got these to mount, to trim out the wheel or the uh, inner foam a little bit. See right there, I guess you could say it looks kind of like, you know, uh, crawler innovations on that. But then you can see right here, I had to hand glue the tire bead to the actual inner ring. So using some tire glue, I literally had to glue them there. And that was the only way I was able to actually keep the bead, you know, where it's supposed to be and let this stuff tighten down to actually get a mount because it would just simply push all the way out and the tire just wouldn't even be underneath the bead ring. So, needless to say, these tires are bead locked and glued in place. I'm gonna finish this one right here up and take care of this one. And then I'll be able to get these things on the Bronco because I really got a feeling these are gonna be perfect on that truck. You know, they're, they're not a big 4.75, they look like I don't know, maybe 4.5 or so. I guess I need to look at the specs on them, right? But I really think these are gonna be perfect on that Bronco. And the two-stage foams, they actually feel like they're gonna work pretty good as well. They're not overly stiff, so they should absorb rocks, but still provide just enough side support that should be good. Anyway, we'll find that out in just a few seconds. Well, let's see how these things do going to be looking for obviously the hook, tire deflection, now this particular uh, truck is an older build at this point in time and got a Savox 1230 servo in it. Oh, still having a bumper clearance issue. There we go. Get way over there. That was nice. Nice deflection right there. Okay, that tire absorbed a lot of that, but it didn't go all the way to the beadlock rim. 
the rim being the outer part of the wheel. Let's see what we got here. Knees down. Just from the larger tires, I'm not quite as bad on the bumpers as I was. Let's see there. It's actually pretty good. It's not. It's getting into that first one pretty good, and a little bit of the second of the dual stage foam. And I did a little work on this because that little piece right there, peak right here, was just destroying things. Now this truck does have that rear sway bar on it that I put in it because of these ascender axles. All right, got some bumper issues there. Oh, there we go, got it over. Must not have my winch turned on. I'm gonna try to pull my hook in a little bit. That tire was in there pretty rough. I'm gonna try to get over to the left a little bit or to the right. Wow, I ended up right back in the same spot. All right, let's really try to go over to the left this time. <laughs> I just slipped the slipper on it. So far the tires are doing good. The only limits right now have just been the truck that they're on. Ooh. Nice. I'm going to try something I would never attempt with the other tires. Just because this is a gnarly rock area. This truck, aside from like maybe two drives when I first got it, which it was the Ascender, it's been a class one truck. So class one size tires and you know, always been driven as a class one. Wow. Oh man. All right, that was not the direction I wanted to go. Those little loose rocks right there is what got me. If I wanted to really do some performance on this thing, you know, there is stuff I could do, but I kind of like it being so limited. <laughs> Kicked up a rock on that one. Wow. This is a brutal course right here for this truck. Oh, got a mirror catching me. No way would I have even thought about trying this with the other tires. They're just too small. I think I'm going to bring it on off. <laughs> yeah, it was time to come off anyway. So we've done the rocks. It's rained a little bit, so the sand should be a little bit sticky. Oh, yeah. Definitely got some stick in the sand right now. Now, the softness of these tires 
may actually help stay on top when you get into sandy situations. You know, you don't want to do a hard packed tire or rock hard tire. Let's tend to sink in the sand. Now we're going to head over to here. Like I say, I've got the Pitbull Rock Beast XLs in the Alien compound, and I just haven't liked them at all. Tried different foams, just could never really get them to work well at all. This does have a Rock 2300 KV motor. Uh, I believe it's got a Mamba X ESC in it. I gotta tell you, these tires are hooking up pretty good. It looked like they're packing pretty well, but I believe at the treads, they're still getting traction with the weight on it, with tire flex and, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, that didn't work out at all. Still tell it's a very low truck. Oh, I know where I'm coming down. You know what? Now that my tires are good and slick, let's go try the slide. I might give it a little bump coming off. There we go. Now tires have been in the mud. They've been, I wouldn't say mud, but they've been in the dirt. I know I got a lot of traction on this particular climb. A little zoomed in there, a little close. But after going through the dirt, these tires are actually really impressive. The tires are hooking, they're doing their thing. to be the first trip to roll off of here. <laughs> Need to get another angle of this. Oh, I just had it. There it was. Nice, easy climb. Now let's come down the back side. Yeah, I think I am going to keep these tires on this truck. I think they are perfect fit, actually. I think these are really good tires for this truck. Oh. <laughs> wow okay I gotta just keep filming here I gotta figure out what to do no no I'm not done yet 
Well, I just did a U-turn on the slide. <laughs> oh, I'll take that. I gotta get back at this again. Oh, whoa, whoa. Not what I'm after. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Get up there. Boom. <laughs> I'll take it. So guys, what do you think? Once again, huge thanks to Joel Sanford for sending me these tires for this test. I really, really like these tires and they're absolutely gonna stay on the Bronco. Now that doesn't mean you may not see them on something else because if you follow the channel, you know I like to swap tires around, motors. I'll take an entire ESC combo, motor combo out, put a brush in just to see how the thing works. You know, so I'm not above swapping parts and pieces. However, these tires, this is going to be the home for these tires in the end, probably at the USTE. These tires are going to be on there for that. So yeah, these tires are very impressive. They hooked up great. The foams for this particular truck worked out really good. So the truck weighs in at about six and a half pounds. It's not very heavy. Now, if it was a 10 pound truck, obviously you'd want some bigger foams or stiffer foams. But for what this is and for what this is meant for, which is mainly trail driving and stuff, roots and local stuff around here, sand and dirt. So that softness helps it to stay on top of the sand. So anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video and there are links in the description. They are affiliate links. If you enjoy the channel, you like watching me stand up here and run my mouth and show you guys different products that I'm lucky enough to get. So if you click those links and actually check out eBay or Amazon, it actually goes towards my little bit of a commission. Helps out the channel a little bit. Helps me stay current with the market. Because believe me, staying current, even in the crawler world, since that's where I generally tend to hover because it's really got my interest. I used to do this stuff in real life, so that's kind of why that's such an interest for me. So it, it's not cheap staying current in any hobby, even collecting stamps. Anyway, guys, check that description, click those links, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that join button and actually become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out. And as always, subscribe like and share thank you guys for watching